Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is our last day in beautiful Alaska and it's hard to believe that we've been here for one month. And I'm so very thankful and grateful that we ended up deciding to stay longer here because it's been such a great experience. But anyway, right now we are about to check out from our Airbnb. This is the place where we called home for the whole month. And I promised you guys on Instagram that I'm going to do a quick Airbnb tour. So let's do that. All right, so here's the driveway. That's our car there. We're just getting ready to leave. But when you enter here, it's very homey. You feel like the garden is really well maintained. Um, the other thing that caught my attention when we got here is that this is a certified wildlife habitat, meaning that the property has the four basic habitat elements to make it easier for animals to thrive here, like birds. And also, there's a sign for moose crossing. And when we were looking for a place on Airbnb, there was actually a picture of a moose and her calf crossing right from the backyard here, which was really cool. So this garden is really beautiful. I've never seen anything like that in someone's house. And uh, it just makes for a very relaxing day, especially after a long day of work. We would sit here, take pictures, enjoy the smell, the flowers. So that's our little home there. But first I want to show you around the garden here. So there is this nice bench and then there is a moose piece of art there, a lot of flowers. Uh, yeah, I think this is a fireplace, there's another bench there and there are a couple of other uh, small Airbnbs that our host owns and then it's also where, where they live too, so really beautiful flowers. And this is a little garden here where our host is growing strawberries, uh, zucchini, and she's growing uh, beets, I believe. And she said that she's struggling from time to time where the moose would cross here, they would eat her fruits. So I was kind of just hoping for us to see a moose, but we didn't see any. But yeah, so here are some strawberries. And there's a big zucchini in here. That looks so tasty. <laughs> and then flowers. There are obviously a lot of bees, very beautiful. All right, so that was the garden. Oh, let me show you the beets. So you can see a bunch of them there. You can see the roots, pretty awesome. That kind of puts me in shame because I can barely keep uh, basil alive and even basil killed it. Yeah, so that's the, the backyard. It's really quiet and peaceful except for there's one dog that uh, the neighbors have and every time I come to this bench to sit he just starts barking, barking, barking non-stop but other than that it was really quite a piece alright so the other cool thing is there is a creek there is alright never mind so the dog and then some uh, floating airplanes making their own noise but anyway so there is a beautiful creek here so usually after work, if I want to relax, I just bring a book here or my phone or a drink and just sit on this bench here and enjoy the creek. So that was my favorite part of the property, to be honest. The garden is just gorgeous and I think our host is a master gardener. So she puts a lot of time into maintaining the garden. Actually, there's an another favorite thing that I had. It's the hot tub, which is all the way up there and I'm gonna show you that after we do the inside tour so let's go so this is the entrance to our little home or the place that we call the home welcome to our home all right so right when you enter there is a, a mini kitchen so the kitchen pretty much had everything that we needed um, the host actually even left some uh, um, bread for us and some uh, spices, oatmeal and such and uh, it just made it easier for us so we didn't have to buy everything from scratch obviously there are a lot of plates, bowls, uh, knives, forks, glasses yeah so really everything that we needed there is also a coffee maker which by the way I just broke a piece I would say I lost a piece so I have to let her know and then we had a toaster oven and then there is a microwave and then here's our little mini fridge we left a bunch of things that we think can be useful for uh, other people so we left some cheese sticks 
milk, yogurt, some grapes, um, sparkling water. Yeah, so we're just gonna kind of leave it there and see what she wants to do with it. But yeah, so that was our kitchen. We would make her breakfast, sometimes dinner. And yeah, it was enough. It was uh, functional and I really liked it. And that's the dinner table. Uh, sometimes Alex would work from here. Actually, most of the time he would work from here. Uh, I would work from here from time to time. We would eat here. Um, the one thing that I really appreciated from our host here was this book or guidebook that has all the information that you need about best restaurants in the area. Um, it had some information about uh, cafes, TV stations, what to see, what to do. And I think that this was a very, very thorough guide. And um, that's actually a reminder for me to take some photos that I can use later for the blog. <laughs> all right, so that was the kitchen. Let's move on to the bedroom. So that's our bedroom over there. And then that's the living room area. So the living room has actually uh, a TV. And then there's this chair there. That was my workplace. I would sit there and work. And I would use a little table over there. And then there's a chair. And the cool thing, guys, this to you probably looks like, you know, just a storage space. But in reality, this is a bed. You can pull the whole thing. I think, uh, yeah, you can pull it like this. And then pull this one like this. Let's see. Yes, using one hand. This is so cool. <laughs> when uh, we found this out, we were really surprised because we just didn't notice it at all. Let me put this back. There's some old snowshoes, then a bunch of books about moose, wildlife, and things to see near Anchorage. All right, before we go to the bedroom, just to show you here the bathroom. So that's the bathroom. Oh, and I have to take this back to the car. This is actually one of my favorite items that I own. I just use this, uh, this thing here from uh, Mary Kay to store my makeup, my jewelry, uh, sometimes even my SD cards, it really works perfect. So I love this thing and I should not forget it. All right, we talked about the TV. We watched TV a couple of nights and it was really fun to kind of relax, uh, especially when we are now out and about in the parks, enjoying life and doing things. But yeah, so let's go to the bedroom now. So first of all, can we look at all this fireweed and how it's beautifully painted on the wall? Just makes it very unique. All right, so that's the bedroom. We've got the same painting on the wall, very, very pretty, especially if I were to take a picture or a selfie, which I do all the time. And yeah, that's the window. A lot of flowers. And sometimes I'm in bed, um, you know, just doing stuff. And then I would see our host come in here to water the, wa the, to water the plants. And that was pretty fun. Got some moose and some bear. So really everything worked out pretty well and uh, the price was uh, kind of affordable compared to uh, the prices in the area and for what this Airbnb had to offer. And I actually reached out to the host and I said, hey, this is a little bit over our budget. We just came to Alaska for four days and we are planning on extending our stay. Um, is there a way that you can reduce the price or give us a promo or something like that? And uh, she said, yeah, of course. I think with everything going on right now, uh, people are kind of hurting. Not that I'm trying to take advantage uh, of the situation, but really because that was um, beyond our budget. And so I asked and she said yes, and I was very happy with that. So this is just a reminder, always ask, you have nothing to lose. The worst scenario will be uh, the host saying no. I mean, I don't encourage you to do that on Airbnb, but for our case, it was a, a last time plan. I mean, we didn't plan ahead of time. We just knew that we we're going to stay longer um, a day before or two days before. So it really was fast and I had to uh, make do. But very happy with this place, very happy with the accommodation. And uh, also our host was... Uh, 
a little bit older, so she was kind of concerned, especially that we are coming from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, but we kind of did everything that we were supposed to do. We explained to her that we took the, the test, the results. We told her that we are not experiencing any symptoms and obviously we're going to be wearing masks around the, you know, around the property or when we talk to her. So just to make sure that she is uh, peaceful and right now, uh, before leaving, I made sure that we cleaned and wiped with Clorox wipes uh, most of the places or the areas that we've been using. So really doing our best uh, to stay safe and to keep people around us safe. All right, so that was our little Alaskan home. All right, so I showed you the inside of the Airbnb and then I showed you the garden. I want to show you a cool thing here, so let's go. Okay. Oops. All right, so right here is the hot tub. So very relaxing to just sit there and then enjoy the warmth and enjoy the view. The view is really beautiful. So that was my favorite corner uh, on top of the garden. So yeah, I was really happy with that. Alright, so there was oh, strawberries, 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 strawberries everywhere. We actually tried some of them and they were really tasty. Alright, so just wanted to show you that there was a grill that we could have used. We didn't use it because we didn't have time and we wanted to try more restaurants. Plants, plants, plants everywhere. And then there's a little area here with a bench, a chair. And more flowers, 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 everywhere. This is just a little piece of heaven. And that's Alex in the car, waiting patiently. All right, so that was the tour of our Airbnb. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And right now, we're gonna head out. I'm just gonna go and double check to make sure that I didn't leave anything behind. And then we're gonna head to find a place for breakfast. And from there, we're gonna go back to the Alaska Rock Gym one more time. I'm so excited to do a little bit of climbing, so let's go. Yeah. Feels like uh, Italy yeah, or France. Yeah, so just a, a bunch of tables all over the place there. All right, we just graduated to a better table. I think I'm getting sexual. Be warm, be oh, mindful of that. That looks delicious. <laughs> Salmon bacon, and I didn't bring your tea saucer. Sorry about that. Do you uh, want another tea bag? Yes, please, and uh, some warm water. And I was gonna ask if you guys have honey. I do not have honey at the time. I could bring out a little bit of vanilla syrup. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks yes. so much. I never tried salmon bacon, but this is really delicious. I'm glad I ordered it. So the shakshuka was 50-50. Um, I mean, not bad, not so good. And so as Habiba was saying, that uh, the shakshuka wasn't exactly up to her liking, but at the same time, she wasn't upset with the quality of the food. But do you guys have any way that you usually like to give feedback to somebody when they ask you how the food was and you're like, ah, I didn't like it. It wasn't bad, but I didn't like it. How do you give feedback back to somebody? Yeah, because I guess when uh, um, the server asked me, I just said, yeah, it was it was fine. I mean, I didn't say, oh, no, it wasn't what I expected because, well, I expected it to be like the shakshuka I'm used to back home, you know? So 
I just thought it's not fair to to compare the two, but at the same time, I feel like I should have been more honest with her. Right. But I had a good experience. I liked her so much. She was, she was very kind. The service was really good. It's just that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's a more appropriate way to do it. Right, to give feedback still, but to not be, like, upset with it. But, yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. We're uh, going right now to the post office to send a postcard for our follower from Instagram. Uh, she was the one who figured out where we were going, which is Alaska. So, yeah, we promised a postcard from the beautiful state of Alaska, and we're about to send it. You want to see what it looks like? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> So we just sent the postcard. We had some difficulties because I didn't have the last name. And then when I reached out to the person asking about the last name, I realized that the address was also um, wrong. I mean, they moved to a new address. So I'm just glad that we got all the right info and I'm glad that the postcard is on its way. But right now we are here in front of the Alaska Rock Gym and I'm gonna, and we're gonna go in and do a little bit of climbing. Alex wanna do more bouldering today. And so, yeah, we'll take you with us inside. Although we did have a previous video with a detailed tour of the Alaska Rock Gym. It's a very beautiful gym, but for today, just gonna share with you some sneak peeks about what uh, we are up to. So let's go. Well, I've never seen this live, but they are doing some repairs on the walls here. Actually, a lot of the kids today bouldering, so we thought we were early enough to have it to ourselves, but not really. But uh, yeah, I did the climb from the other day, woohoo! And then Alex is crushing it, actually. You crushing it? Oh, uh, well, I've never really done bouldering and got past the V1, so I did a V2 today. Yeah, that was good. That was awesome, I'm actually. This V2. I think I see what the painful part is. We'll see if, uh, if I can get past it. Team V2. Team V1. <laughs> ah, getting some swag. We're, Swiggity. We're picking some t-shirts from the Alaska Rock Gym to show off at uh, uh, the Rock Gym in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. We are Alaska climbers. <laughs> Mind you, I climbed V1. Bold, I, I boulder V1 and V2. He did, he did, he did treat today. So. Did you ask him? Did you ask him? <laughs> Does it feel tough enough that it'll survive the wash? Yeah. Okay. Should be fine. Cool. Do you like that one? I don't know. I, I see the other one. The, uh, you have a purple one next to it. Yeah. It's got a similar uh, logo on the front. You guys have that one? The, wait, sorry, this one? Yeah, that one. Yes, the thin one is cut. So. I just like that logo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look for uh, extra large. Oh, I think that one's a better choice for you. Really? Yep. A little bit more apparent with the text that it's Alaska, because you know, the text is out in orange. I think I like that one more for you too. All right guys, so that was about it. Uh, thank you for watching. We are uh, just getting ready here to head to the airport and we have our first flight to Seattle and then a layover and then back to Phoenix. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon on a new adventure.